I'm telling you guys, OMAD works. And my journey is not only proof of this, but I've actually met people in real life who've made an awesome weight loss transformation with eating one meal a day. I will share that in a bit, but OMAD was the diet that changed my life. Unfortunately, I can't use it right now because OMAD is a very catabolic diet. So it breaks down things as you, as you lose weight, but that's what you want if you're focusing on weight loss. <laughs> However, I'm right now in a catabolic anabolic stage. You can't really do that, but basically my focus is losing weight, but maintaining the muscle. So that's why I'm not doing catabolic stuff. But anyway, I wanna talk about OMAD right now. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Daniela Joy and I've lost over 110 pounds on my weight loss journey. This is my overall weight loss transformation. I lost the weight with a combination of keto, OMAD, high protein diet, low carb diet, and throwing in some intermittent fasting in there and some prolonged fasts. This is my OMAD transformation. I did this transformation after getting into a car accident was injured, had a horrible concussion, wasn't myself for two years, got manipulated by a few people here and there. That happens when you're vulnerable, but lost the weight and here we are. So, oh mad. <laughs> I actually, I basically am a personal trainer. So if you're a personal trainer, you work at a gym. And I was talking to a young gentleman at the gym and he told me he used to be really big. And when he told me that, I was like, I was shocked because I look at this guy and he's jacked. He looks great, he's fit, and he used to be big. He struggled with weight for all of his life. And I'm like, how did you do it? And he's like, I literally just didn't eat until dinner. <laughs> so there you have it. There is a one meal a day dare that I met in real life. And I'm noticing that people in real life are starting to get acquainted with Dr. Jason Fung. People are recognizing the power of fasting. People are realizing why it's so hard to lose weight because the junk food we're eating, the processed food we're eating is not even food, it's a chemical pie. So if you're eating foods that are not natural, it's gonna disrupt our body's natural rhythm. The human body is pretty good at being in a state of homeostasis. So it's pretty good at maintaining its weight. Look at people back in the 30s and 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. Things changed in the 1980s when we got the processed food companies coming in and being like, eat your cornflakes, even though cornflakes like spike your insulin like no tomorrow. We had doctors recommend people do low fat diets and to get rid of anything that has fat in it. And they replaced the low fat stuff with a bunch of sugar, eat your pastas, eat all of your insulin spiking foods and you will be okay. But now we're left with an obesity epidemic. Now we're left with people with all sorts of metabolic ailments and that is why. So in today's video, I want to talk about the power of one meal a day and why it's gonna help reverse all of this. So OMAD, OMAD is a method of fasting where you are fasting for 20 hours a day, eating in a four hour eating window. When I say eating in a four hour eating window, I don't mean eating that entire four hour eating window. Remember, every time you eat, you spike your insulin. So you wanna be able to reduce your insulin spikes or your glucose spikes, I should say. Every time you eat, you spike your glucose. When you spike your glucose, you consequently spike the insulin. The key is to keep those glucose spikes not so intense because when you have high glucose spikes and, high, and then a crash, you're putting your body in a state where you're gonna get hungry like a few hours later. So the key is to eat in a way that reduces that glucose spike. Now, how do we do this? Number one way is probably a keto slash carnivore diet. Oh my God, I said carnivore. Um, any diet that's low carb, eating a meal that's high in fat, high in protein, and you know, if you want some carbs, throw in some blueberry, so throw in some raspberry, throw in some low carb, high fiber vegetables. That's the way to do it. You wanna have your carb heavy meals, if you're gonna eat it, in and around your workout or the beginning of your eating window. But we're not gonna talk about carbs right now because my focus is, well, we're gonna talk about carbs, but my focus is learning how to keep that insulin level down. Glucose level, I wanna say glucose, it's not insulin. It's insulin, they're both together, but glucose, that's the key. So that's one method of OMAD. Another method of true OMAD like there's three, let's just split it all together. There's 24 or more OMAD fasting for 20 hours a day, eating within a four hour eating window with the meal spaced out. Or there's 23 or 24 
one OMAD where you're eating in a one hour eating window and you are fasting for 23 to 24 hours. And then there's one plate a day where you literally just have one plate of food a day. These are the extreme of OMADs. One plate a day is probably for someone who's super morbidly obese and they're really struggling. One plate a day can help kick you off with your weight loss journey, but one meal a day is basically eating all of your calories within that eating window. Whereas one plate a day is that you're restricted to one plate a day. And that can look anywhere between 500 to 800 calories, maybe a thousand, depending on how big your plate is and what you have on your plate. So that is a method of fasting. And why does this method work? Because it allows your body to be in a state of fat burning. What is happening in this day and age is that our bodies are not in a state of fat burning. Our bodies are in a constant state of fat storage. We need to put our bodies in a state where it's burning fat at rest, where it's burning fat when you're sleeping. And to do this, it is to keep those glucose levels down and to learn how to spike those glucose levels when you need it. So the best diet to do this is probably the keto diet or any low carb diet. Yes, that includes the carnivore diet, but I like the keto diet much better, personally speaking. Um, the Another way to do it is through intermittent fasting through OMAD. If you really wanna keep those blood glucose levels down, you can do keto OMAD. That's how I was able to reverse everything. Um, keto OMAD and the keto diet in general has been my go-to when it came to me being morbidly obese, hitting nearly 300 pounds, to coming down to 170, 169 pounds. That was the key for me. The keto diet worked well for me. And why is that? Over time, keto diet crushes your hunger. Why? Because ketones released into the blood, first place they go is the brain, go to the hypothalamus of the brain, shuts down hunger hormones. Another thing that the keto diet does to reduce hunger is that again, it keeps your glucose levels at a steady state. When your glucose levels are at a steady state, that's why you're not hungry. That's why I hear a lot of people on the keto diet they're not hungry. Do keto OMAD, you have fasting throughout the day. Fasting itself is the fastest way to bring those blood glucose levels down. And then you combine that with the keto diet and then bam, you're in a state of constant fat burning. So that is a great tool to use. Now let's talk about how you get started with OMAD. Start off with a 16 hour fast, slowly add an hour each week or a couple hours here and there. It's pretty easy to get adapted to fasting once you start. You just have to go through the suck before it becomes your glory. You have to go through the discomfort before it becomes comfortable. Have that mindset. If you are afraid to be a little bit discomfort or a little bit uncomfortable, I keep saying discomfort, a little bit uncomfortable, then you're never gonna win. You have to be hungry for your results. You not need to have the mindset where that are you thinking fasting is suffering or staying in the place where you're not happy with your body and your health is crap is suffering? You choose your suffering, okay? And I would rather choose the latter suffering because that latter suffering turns into glory at the end. Whereas if you give into that meal, you're stuck in the same place you are. You gotta think delayed gratification. You gotta understand this will be a process, but through the process, you will get wins and those wins will motivate you. Anyway, I hope this video made sense. I hope I was clear and concise. I'm winging these last videos. I'm just filming a bunch of videos in a row because I'm a busy girl. Training people in real life, helping people lose weight. This is my passion. Oh, I'm putting in hours at the gym. It's a lot of work to build up my roster, but I'm at a gym where the clients come to me and it's great. And the people I'm working with are amazing. And I'm even getting personal trainer training with one of my coworkers who is in the IFBB Pro League. Hopefully they get their, their pro card soon. Fingers crossed, I think he will. But anyway, that's what I've been up to. Send you guys mad love. If you made it this far into the video, just drop in three red hearts and I'll see you guys later. Take care, bye.